Hey folks, it's time for another Gear VR video. Today I'm going to be playing one of my favorite games. It's called Esper. And it's one of the first games that actually came out for the Gear VR. I'm actually going to turn the volume down just a bit. And I'm actually using the demo of Esper to record this. Um, I do have the full version as well, but I didn't want to mess with my save file. So I'm going to play with subtitles on. Um, it takes a little bit out of the immersion, but you get to see what the guy's saying as I'm talking as well. My name is Jeff, and I'll be your instructor for this course. The Esper program has been promptly set up by the government in order to address... Nice little office cubicle here. To minimize incident, all citizens found to possess extrasensory abilities are required to undertake ESPR training to bring their new abilities under a safe degree of control. Okay, we'll start with something simple. In the drawer to your left, you'll find the first test. It's a prototype puzzle cube we were working on before we landed this Esper contract. Probably wouldn't have taken off anyway. All you have to do is solve it without using your hands. It can be done in just 21 moves. I'm sure a super genius like you can figure it out. Good luck. So the cube is in the drawer. If you follow the poster on the wall, you can see okay. that you can pick it up. I'm starting the clock now. And I'm just going to concentrate on it, and I'm going to be able to change the shape. Or maybe not. Why did you drop it? You have to tap your right temple once to start concentrating. Tap it again to stop concentrating. And if that does seem a little cliche. Uh, okay, stop. Uh, Jim, you're not solving it. Yeah, just holding it there, moving it around. I thought the psychic thing only happened to the smart ones. Okay, it looks like for whatever reason, your abilities aren't sufficient enough to solve this test. So we're going to have to vastly simplify it. Just give us a moment. Okay, we'll start again. For this first test, just pick up the cube and place it on the big bright box. Well done! Okay, we can't do these next tests if you couldn't manage the first one. So this so first test is a good ease into virtual reality because you're kind of just moving your face back and forth. Um, what I like using this particular Esper demo for is actually showing okay, friends so virtual reality. Because now, you can actually slide it to move it forward and back. And that's kind of the mind-blowing experience for folks that have never used VR before, is sliding it forward and back, um, and actually giving that third dimension <laughs> and depth. So the game gets ex increasingly more difficult as you go. Something else gets in the way while you're holding it. Drop it. Each puzzle leads to another now, more difficult see how puzzle. Far away you can move the cube. Can you touch the target at the end of the room? Right. We'll just be taking that before you put a hole in the wall or something. But overall, it's an interesting ambiance. You've got the office here. You're in a swivel chair. I'm not currently in a swivel chair, so I'm not going to be able to really look behind me. But you don't have to look behind you. So these glass tubes are a huge factor for really the remainder of this demo and a lot of the tests in the full version. Well, 
this is new. None of the other participants have been able to control objects through glass. We're gonna need to test this some more. Let's see if you can direct the ball through this tube. Of course I can. I'm a psychic, right? So they also deal with different shapes, different sizes, and different weights of items that factor into the puzzles themselves. It's, it's always narrated by the same narrator. Uh, there is a sequel that's out for both Gear VR and Oculus Rift that actually takes it a bit further. Um, where you're going to different environments and different rooms, as well as... Or not. The Oculus Rift and, and the Gear VR for the sequel, which is just titled Esper 2, has multiple narrators, multiple rooms, and a bit more challenge as well. I actually so like the first really game a bit more though than the second. Let's push the paperweight on the receiver. Without dropping the ball next time. But overall, it's something that there's no locomotion, so it's not an issue for people Great. who just Thanks. want to sit Thanks. down and experience virtual reality for the first time. So I really do think that this is one of the best tests that you can use. Uh, as a demo for new users. Um, I, I fire this up when I have my Gear VR out with me just to show people something that's a little bit better than what they can get with a Google Cardboard. Um, and I think overall, you know, you can ease them into it, show them some 360 videos, show them some... Right, so that hasn't changed. You can't control objects if you can't see them. Good to know. Don't think that means you're getting out of this test, though. It's still perfectly solvable if you take the correct route. Great work. Show them some 360 video, show them some other non-interactive experiences, show them this. Um, and then if they're still excited, show them something else that's even more uh, immersive or challenging. And in this case, Again, you're kind of a janitor again. You're moving the ball to knock the marbles into different spots. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and stop the test so I can not solve ones that are a little bit too spoilery. And say goodbye for this week. I apologize. I was a little bit late this week. Wasn't feeling well yesterday and decided to do this right and show a better representation of these games. So hope you enjoyed the video for this week. I'll be back next Sunday. Um, or at least sometime next week with more videos for both Gear VR and HTC Vive. If nothing else, hope you get out there this week and enjoy yourself some VR. Thanks.